The Shia leaders have gathered in Islamabad to discuss the growing incidents of violence targeting members of the Shia community. This all parties conference was organized to evolve a joint strategy for the protection of Shia Muslims in Pakistan. In recent months, Shia Muslims in Pakistan have come under increased attacks. According to human rights organizations, this year alone close to 400 people belonging to the Shia community have been killed in different parts of the country. The Gilgit Baltistan region in the north of Pakistan and Balochistan province bordering Iran have witnessed some of the worst attacks against Shia Muslims over the past few months. We want to pressurize the government, which is not doing its duty. So we want to build a pressure against the government, against the uh, law enforcement agencies, against the powers who are duty bound to protect the integrity of the country. And we think uh, in this uh, situation, integrity of the country is at stake. The conference has adopted a resolution suggesting a series of steps to stop Shia killings in the country. We have demanded that the genocide of Shia Muslims must be stopped immediately. If the government fails to protect Shia community, then Shia Muslims from across the country will march towards Islamabad and authorities will be responsible for any negative consequences. The government claims it is making all-out efforts to ensure law and order in the country. The participants have also condemned what they call U.S. conspiracies to destabilize Pakistan. They have urged the government to cut off diplomatic ties with the United States. Kamran Yusuf, Press TV, Islamabad. Well, South African police.